What's going on guys, Angie here and in this video we are going to do something different. I'm going to share with you the three most important things and mindsets you need to know in order to crush your goals in 2020. Whether it is programming or it is whatever you like to do, your personal projects or something, from my own experience you need to know these three essential mindsets in order to achieve anything you'd like in the next year. So let's get it started. They do anything except roads, still can't see them after snows. I don't have time for the waste man jokes, personal. And the first one is you need a plan, all right? So I know how it is. You are super motivated. You set your goals for the next year. Uh, you already dream about those shiny medals and all that stuff. But before taking massive action, it is super important to have a plan, all right? And I want you to be true to yourself and think about what are your biggest pain points and sticking points, right? And make a plan. All right, so schedule yourself monthly, weekly, daily, in order how to work smarter, not eventually harder. And let me share with you one personal story of mine to emphasize this better. Since I've started competitive programming in high school, I've always dreamt about being in the top 20 Romanian students, right? Because you have the chance to go to some IOI training camps where you meet a lot of people, right? You share a lot of ideas with teachers, with students, and you even get the chance to compete in uh, international competitive programming uh, contests like IOI or CEOI and so on, right? So, I've started working super hard in my ninth grade when I was 15 years old, but I was working hard but not smart. And I encourage you to start somewhere, right? So, I see a lot of people, a lot of students in competitive programming, in interview question, and in life in general who read a lot of books or uh, talk to a lot of successful people, but they don't take to action, right? So. What I did then was better than not taking action at all. I tried to solve whatever problems I found, right? I wasn't even thinking about the problems. I got to the solution really quick. I asked a lot of uh, people about what's the solution, uh, what should I solve next, uh, all right? And I was very focused on the number of problems that I solved daily, which is not a good parameter, right? You can't uh, measure your performance like that in competitive programming or interview questions. It's all about the quality. It's all about how much time you spend thinking about that problem, right? So working like this super randomly, super all over the place, didn't get me the optimal results, right? I mean, I had pretty good results. I've qualified to the National Olympiad in Informatics in Romania and even got uh, bronze and silver medals, bronze in my first year and silver in my second year, but I wasn't even close to my ultimate goal to make it to the top 20. So. I figured out in my third year, when I was like 17, that I need a better approach, right? I got a mentor, I got a plan, and I knew that if I wanted to make it a top 20, I have to be great at dynamic programming. I need to master trees and uh, graphs and all those kinds of algorithms, right? So I made a list and I've structured myself monthly, all right? So January, it is the, let's say, dynamic programming January, right? Then in January, you get week one. The week one is for mixed dynamic programming, week two is for knapsack problem, and so on, right? So scheduling myself in this way also got me to take more action, to be more disciplined, uh, because I was able to kind of give feedback to myself, right, of how, um, um, how good I was, right, how many problems uh, did I manage to solve myself. So the first thing you need to do in 2020 is to get your plan right. I know it may sound like boring or, I don't know, a lot of work, but it's not. Believe me, if you think two hours, three hours, maybe one day maximum, you will figure out what should be your plan and it will save you years, years. One day of planning can save you one year of working hard but blindly and solving a lot of problems that you find out on your way but they are actually not useful because you've already solved that problem 100 times, but with a different statement, right? The second one is about momentum, right? I know how it is again. You are motivated, but you already should know that the motivation has a lifespan very short, right? Like one week or two weeks. You feel like you're the best, you did it, you solved two, maybe three problems daily. But after that, yeah, it all comes to discipline, right? And how hard are you willing to work when you don't want actually to work, right? So, I have a better solution than that. I think that between motivation and discipline, there's one key piece of the puzzle, which no one really pays attention to, and it's super underestimated, which is called momentum, right? I want you to focus. When you lose that motivation, and again, 
know and knowledge that it's natural to lose that motivation, right? But when you lose it, right? In order to build your discipline, right? Your baseline of discipline, think about momentum, right? And how do you get momentum? Well, I am a big fan of Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins used to explain this very well. I think like there's a square, right? And you have here potential, you have action, you have results and you have momentum, right? So, actually, you have like, let's say a constant amount of potential, right? You can't change your potential. But it depends on how much action you take in order to combine the potential with the action and you get the results. And guess how the results determine the momentum? If you have great results, you will have momentum, right? You will feel confident. You would love more and more what you do because it pays off, right? So, with great results comes great momentum. But if you have that potential and you don't take action, you won't have the results and you won't have the momentum. If you don't have the momentum, you will tap into less and less potential, right? Because you don't feel as motivated. You don't feel anymore that this would work, right? Like in the beginning. So this is super important, right? This momentum, if you have momentum, you will always tap into your full potential. You will always be motivated and determined to work more and more harder and harder and you'll have greater results. More momentum is yet to come and more potential is yet to be tapped in, right? So the second one was momentum. Focus on this. When you feel like you don't, you're not in the mood to solve a problem, all right, let's say you're not motivated anymore, Think about it's super easy to build momentum. It's a process that takes a couple of days, maybe one week, in which you should gradually increase the amount of work you do, the difficulty of problems you solve, and you'll feel better and better about yourself. You build momentum and you're gonna feel amazing. And guess what? After a period of time in which you build momentum, you learn how to build momentum and to get out of that uh, black hole, you know, where you're feeling tired and tired of solving problems. With those period of immersion in which you build momentum, you build discipline too. And when you have that discipline, you are unstoppable. And last but not least, guys, the third one is to make it fun. Enjoy the process, right? Let's say you want to land a job offer at Amazon, Google, Facebook, or you want to have that prize, that medal at competitive programming contest. It takes time, right? It is a marathon, not a sprint. So you should be able somehow to be consistent with your work during this long time span. How do you do that? By making it fun. And again, I'm going to share with you an experience of mine and how I learned to make this process fun is on my first three years, what have I done? Well, all right, I really didn't know anyone. So yeah, but I was shy. I was afraid to contact anyone. I was afraid to ask for a solution. I was afraid to, I don't know, ask for feedback or even contact some of the guys which were uh, greater than me, which were more experienced than me and they were super amazing people. So all I did is solving problems alone and when not knowing the solution, I was too shy to ask for uh, hints or something like that. So yeah, it was a pretty painful process, but actually I didn't want to make this better because it's super easy. There are a lot of great guys. There are a lot of communities in this era. You have Facebook groups, you have, a lot of platforms in which you work together, you have forums, you have everything. So oh, the only thing you don't have is you don't have any excuse to not make it fun. Find friends, mock interviews with them, uh, make yourself a team and start competing in competitive programming contests. Make yourself challenges, let's say the weekly challenges to solve 10 dynamic programming problems and rank yourself like who's the first one, who solved the most, who's the second one. And here two amazing things are going to happen. First of all, you will see that you will start to get competitive. You will like the adrenaline, right? You will like when you solve more problems than your uh, friend, but you don't like when you solve less, right? Or your performance that week was pretty pure compared to them. So what you're going to do? You're going to be held accountable by them and they are going to be friendly with you and say, okay, bro, what happened? Why didn't you manage to solve all the problems? Or what's the real thing? What's the real reason? Are you lazy? or it's just a family problem or something, right? And you should be sincere with those. You are going to feel the adrenaline, to feel motivated and to always compare yourself to them, but again, in a friendly way and you will go together, right? All right, guys, these are the three most important lessons that I've had from my journey. I know that they would help you crush your goals in 2020. And of course, make sure you let me know if you need any advice or help with your plan, right? With constructing that bulletproof plan in order to achieve your goals. 
Let me know if you need any advice with the momentum because this is a big one. And goes without saying that for the fun part, guys, we have this awesome community, we have our Facebook group, we have this YouTube channel, so we will grow stronger. Bones, stay in big six six with woes, man, start dissing and doing repose. They do anything except rolls, still can't see them after it snows. I don't have time for the waste man jokes, personal thing if I'm getting up close. Loyal to O 